Bowling Green State University police are investigating a rash of laptop thefts. Over the past week, several of the portable devices have been taken from residence halls, even the library. But some say students can prevent this from happening to them. Our Allison Brown joins us now live with what is going on. Allison. Well, in a matter of seconds, the thief takes off with the laptop because police say no one's watching. And that's the victim's first mistake. Police say the theft can happen in the blink of an eye, and then before you know it, hundreds of dollars spent on a laptop is gone, all because its owner wasn't paying attention. Open the door, grab a wallet, grab a laptop, put it in a backpack, and the individual can be gone in less than 30 seconds. The university's police chief says it's just a crime of opportunity and someone's been cashing in. Eight laptops have been taken from students over the past week from residence halls and other buildings on campus. Offenhower East, Bromfield, Ashley, Compton, even the Jerome Library have all been targets. And while police want to catch the thief, they say some of the victims in this were not too smart. It appears uh, from our investigation that the doors to the rooms were unlocked. So the police chief says from now on, first step for students should be to lock doors and secure that property. And this worker over at Computer Renaissance in West Toledo says it's not that hard, especially with a laptop. You can always lock them up, like using a Kensington lock like these over here. Um, that is physical security. It does make it kind of hard to actually physically steal the laptop. It's a small little slit about that big. You put a locking mechanism in. Some extra security, all to make sure that you don't become the next victim. Best bet would be don't leave it unattended. If you're in an area, especially universities and stuff like that, where there's thefts taking place. Be smart about it. Now, police say one of the laptops has been found. They say it was found in someone's dorm room. Right now, the investigation continues. Reporting live, Allison Brown, Fox Toledo News, first at four.